Malay Peninsula is the island republic of Singapore. Its capital city is also called Singapore. These are the people of Malaysia. Most of them are either farmers or fishermen or miners. These are the people of Singapore. Most of them are merchants, importers and exporters, or factory workers. In both countries, most of the people are Malay, Chinese, Indian, and Pakistani. But in spite of the ethnic similarities between Malaysia and Singapore, they are two strikingly different countries. For instance, Singapore is small, an island nation. It covers only about 225 square miles of land. There are approximately two million citizens of this tiny country, and most of them live here, in the city of Singapore. Malay is the official language, but English and Chinese are also spoken. Singapore is a city of trade, Billions of dollars worth of merchandise pass through Singapore from Asian countries, from Western countries, and from countries of the Middle East and Africa. Trade has made Singapore the largest port in Southeast Asia and the fifth largest in the world. Trade has also given the city a cosmopolitan tone English clubs and restaurants are reminders that before 1949, Singapore was a British colony. Islam is an important religion here. Nearly all the Malays are Muslims, followers of Islam. Many shops cater to the Malays, who were the original rulers of the island of Singapore. And street processions like this one are a reminder that three-fourths of the citizens of Singapore are Chinese. In this city of contrasts, the hurrying crowds of midday are very different from the groups of men who leisurely exercise in the mornings. And in the evenings, the young couples who dance to the latest music show another side of Singapore life. And of course, there are other contrasts between the ways people live. The need for better housing is recognized by the Republic of Singapore as one of its most pressing problems. One government approach to the problem has been to build housing estates. Housing estates provide more than just housing for the people. They contain shops, churches, theaters, schools, and some light industry. Providing employment for its people is another of Singapore's problems. To help solve this, the modern industrial area called Jurong was developed, with many factories and homes. A variety of products is made here, including cement, steel, and tires. Much of the raw material used in the factories of Singapore is brought into the country over this causeway. The Johor Causeway across the three-quarter mile wide Johor Strait is a highway link between the small island of Singapore and its much larger neighbor to the north, the Federation of Malaysia. Singapore, on the other hand, joined the Federation of Malaysia, then left it in 1965. 
One of the reasons Singapore withdrew from the Federation is the cultural differences between the Chinese, who make up three-fourths of the population, and the Malays. Prejudices exist on both sides. Malays and Chinese children attend the same schools today. It's hoped that education will help resolve the differences between their two cultures. The government of Malaysia is working to unify its people. Even though Malaysia and Singapore are politically separated, at least for the time being, they are still closely aligned economically. Much of the rubber and much of the lumber produced by Malaysia finds its way to world markets through Singapore. And many of the goods imported by Malaysia first arrive in Singapore. Malaysia and Singapore also face many of the same problems. They must build new industries to supply work for their people. They must continue to provide their people with better education. They must continue to provide their people with better homes. <laughs> 